everyone, today I'm doing my boob job vlog 2. So I'm just going to update you on what is sorted out so far. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, I'll link it down below. Um, yeah, and this isn't going to be the before and after video, that'll be the next one. Because this is the last kind of chat vlog I'll do. Hopefully I'll be able to upload while I'm in Thailand, like all the vlogs and follow me's and like boob progress and all that. But if I can't, I'll do it as soon as I get back to New Zealand. So I have all of my, like, everything sorted out, like my itinerary and all that. I'm not going to show, tell you exactly, like, who my doctor is or anything like that yet. I'll do it afterwards, but I don't want to go recommending him in case he kills me. I'm sure that won't happen, but you know what I mean. I have all of my Thai cash. I was able to get it all out in Auckland. So I have all of my cash sorted out for the operation and spending money, etc, etc. Have any of you been to Thailand? I'm not quite sure how much money I'm going to need for like food or like taxiing or anything like that. I think I've got like an extra thousand Thai baht or something like that, but I don't even know how much I'm going to need. I don't really plan on shopping too much. I might buy my mum a present over there if I find one. Otherwise, I don't really want to go shopping for myself. I've got so much crap already. I might buy a souvenir. That's about it. And in my last video, a lot of you were kind of like freaking out when I said double D at the most. But please remember, I'm only like... A size at the moment I'm only like an 8 to a 10 band and a size B so it's not like I'm going like 12D which is a lot bigger than an 8D is like it's still a pretty small cup size but for my body it's gonna look proportionate but I think I'm gonna go with a D but I'm not gonna rule out anything until I'm there and try them on of course because a D might not look right you know what I mean like I might have to go with a C or a double D but I doubt I'm gonna go with a double D. I'm just not ruling it out because it could happen. A lot of people are really concerned about like my dresses and stuff not fitting but you know those dresses that I wear that are like real low cut and my boobs look really good in them? It's only because I'm wearing like a massive push-up bra. Like honestly like two-thirds of the bra is just stuffing. <laughs> so what I plan on doing is taking those dresses with me to Thailand and actually taking them into the like consultation room and like trying them on with the boob bras on so I can kind of see how they look and how they fit because that's ideally how big I want to be like basically what I am now but with a padded bra but I want to look like that without a bra so that's my plan I am starting to get a little bit nervous now I'm nervous about the needle part I'm not nervous about the surgery at all of course I'm only nervous about the blood test that I have to get first and like the little plastic thing they have to put in me to put the drip in and stuff like I just can't do needles so I'm a bit nervous about that and knowing I'm not going to have my mum or my boyfriend there with me my cousin's going to be there but she's getting her surgery like slightly before me so she'll be in surgery so I can't even hold her hand it's a little bit nerve-wracking but I'm sure I'll be fine I'm just a wimp when it comes to needles I found out that I probably won't be able to exercise for at least a month after surgery which I'm really gutted about because I am a gym junkie. I try to go like four to five times a week and go for a good like cross trainer session and weight session. So I'm really not looking forward to that because I don't want to get, you know, lazy. And I'm sure I won't. I'm sure I'll be back into it as soon as I can. But you know what I mean? Like once you've been off for so long, it's so hard to get back into the um, cycle, like routine of going to the gym again. I can go for like walks. I love walking but I just feel like I need a more heart pumping exercise but you can't do that just because you don't want your blood pressure raising too much or anything going wrong while you're healing and while your muscles are healing and all of that. And I mean considering the amount of money I am spending on new boobs I do not want to risk it for something like that. The boobs are costing 4,500 New Zealand dollars approximately. I'm still waiting on the exact number, but for the size that he's recommending, that's the price. If you go way bigger, they cost more, which I'm not, so it shouldn't cost more, but 4,500 is about the sum. And then of course, you pay the agency a fee and you pay airfares to Thailand and back. And I'm paying for airfares to the Gold Coast and back, so I've got to add all that in. But like I said in my last video, the airfares to the Gold Coast and back were only 300 bucks because I got them really, 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 like, early on. So that's awesome. I'm in the Gold Coast for two days before and two days after surgery, just in case any flights get delayed a bit or anything like that. I'm safe and I'm not going to miss any of my flights, hopefully. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I've got, I get my surgery on the 9th. I arrive in Thailand on the 8th and then the next morning you go in to the consultation and surgery and all that kind of thing. So it happens really quickly, which is good because that means I have more time to relax at the end of the week. I'm in Thailand for 10 days, so it's enough time to recover. Apparently you're only bed bound for like a day or two, so after that I'll be up 
and about and I'll be able to go for walks around and explore a little bit just taking it easy of course I'm so excited for that I did have to buy a special compression bra just to make sure that the boobs heal I said heal really weird just then heal properly like you don't want them to heal uneven or you don't want one boob to like droop one way you know what I mean so you want to have a really tight bra on I'm like touching my boobs right now you want to have a really tight bra on so that they stay in place while they heal and while your muscles kind of repair themselves after surgery you know you want them to stay nice and just there you don't want them drooping anywhere so I had to buy that bra it was like a hundred bucks which sucks but I mean I'm gonna be wearing it for ages they recommend to wear it for like the first month or so but I feel like I'm just gonna wear it for like three months straight because I do not want them to go wrong you know you're spending so much money you want them to be perfect and I also bought a couple of bras off NZ sales sports bras because they zip up the front so I thought they'd be really easy to get on and they're really really like spandexy so I thought that while my expensive as like boob bras in the wash I can just put those on in the meantime while it washes and dries because they're still really tight so they'll still hold them in place and they'll be easy to get on and off for me like while I'm healing because I don't want to be like bending around and twisting and stuff like that because I'll probably be quite tender in this whole area. I'm unsure whether they're going to go over or under the muscle at the moment. Um, I have to go in and like check that out because obviously I've been working out a bit so I can't remember how it goes but there's reasons for going under or over so I'll discuss that with him on the day and then I'll get back to you with the whole decision. I've been saving so many photos of boobs to my computer. I have pictures of boobs everywhere and like my boyfriend leans over and he's like whoa boobs like I'm just looking at boobs all the time I'm worse than a 13 year old boy so yeah that's basically all of it if you've got any more questions leave them down below so I'm sure to cover them in my following videos my next video I'll do a before and after I plan on just wearing a bikini and like doing before shots and after shots in the same bikini so you can see exactly what I'm working with also a lot of people who are saying I don't need them I've got perfect boobs already please remember I'm wearing a huge 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 stuff up bra 99% of the time and the other 1% is when I'm in bed and not wearing a bra which isn't really 1% but you get what I'm trying to say thank you so much for the support I didn't expect to have as much support as I do have so I just want to thank you so much like it means a lot to me to know that I have everyone on my side well most people some people got really angry about it but I mean as I said in my last video I'm doing it all for myself I'm not just doing it to make myself feel better so I want to be more in proportion I do notice that comparing myself to other girls like this sounds really bad but it's not a bad thing what I'm about to say like my body shape I have like a small waist I've got wide hips and then I've got like more broad shoulders but I've got no boobs so I need to balance out my hips and my bum and my shoulders that's just what I want to do I don't want to go like top heavy I don't want massive tits I just want to be balanced within my shoulders and balanced within my bum and my hips and then just have my waist smaller just have a nice curvy figure so yeah thanks for listening any questions write them down below I'm all over the place in this video I never really write down lists or anything of what I need to talk about in videos so hopefully I covered everything I was trying to cover I hope you have a really good day and I'll talk to you soon bye